Shazam! Starting off some seated shoulder press. Taking the legs out of it in the seated position. And uh, just pretty much treating it like a normal shoulder press where you keep the elbows a little bit tighter, press straight up, kind of push the head through the top position, elevate the traps at the very top to help contract the trapezius muscles, stabilize, stabilize the movement, and then bring it down to the bottom position. And as you can see, doing shirtless to prove that there's no bodysuit involved in this workout. At least not for me. Yeah, I mean, it's like, just put in the time and effort, man. There's no faking around these parts. What? Moving on to the dumbbell upright rows, we're gonna be doing four sets of 12 reps, supersetted with 30 seconds of steering wheels. Now with the upright rows, some people can find that there's a little bit of impingement in their shoulders when performing this exercise, typically with barbell upright rows. So that's why we're using dumbbells. You can find the range of motion which works for you. This is not actually how I drive a car, by the way. Well, it's how I drove a car. I imagined driving a car when I was about five years old. But uh, <laughs> great shoulder exercise, especially a burnout, super set. After those upright dumbbell rows, you're really gonna feel it, yeah. We're moving on to more of the isolation exercise here, which is gonna be the lateral two front raises. You're gonna be bringing the dumbbells laterally first, rotating them to the front, bring them down and then go into a front raise, rotating them to the lateral, and then bring them down. So, we're gonna see it in action here. Oh yeah, that'll burn. So, hitting those lateral portion, the anterior portion, the front, a little bit in the rear too, because once you bring it up and rotate back through here, you can see it's gonna activate this posterior delts and stabilize that motion. So it's a damn good delt. Burn out. Shazam! Oh. One second. Shazam! This cost Warner Brothers 50,000. <laughs> Next exercise is gonna be another uh, multifaceted um, kind of movement, much like the lateral to front raise, we're pairing up two movements together. This one is gonna be an Arnold press right into a French press. So we're working the shoulders right along with the triceps. The good thing about these exercises, when you're talking about any kind of pressing motion, especially with the shoulder or even the chest, is the triceps gonna be a secondary muscle group anyways. So it's already kind of working, it's already warmed up, it's already ready to go, there's blood in there. And uh, we're now going to really isolate the triceps with the French press at the end of the movement here. So in a seated position, much like the seated press in the beginning, we're taking the legs out of the equation. Of course, still has to be tight. And you're starting with the palms facing you. You're gonna press and rotate, not all the way, so that way thumbs are facing back. Once you reach the top position, you can bring the dumbbells behind you, bending at the elbows, and then you're gonna go ahead and extend up, and then bring it back down. The shoulders are gonna be in contraction pretty much the whole time as you're pressing up to the top position. And once you reach this position, they're gonna to have to be contracted to stabilize the arm in that position, the top position, going into the flexion and extension of the elbow joint, isolating the triceps, and then bringing it back down to the bottom position. So, hitting the delts, hitting the triceps, all in one go. Feels pretty damn good. Moving on to the cable tricep extensions supersetted with the arm blaster. Now, if you don't have an arm blaster available, you can always go ahead and just do a hammer curl that's not available. A big reason why we're doing this workout, number one, because when you see the Shazam suit, the first thing that your eyes gravitate towards is probably his shoulders. They're looking pretty huge, unnaturally so. And that's the same with a lot of superheroes. You're gonna notice their arms and their shoulders right off the bat. And that's why we're working it today, really building that V taper, the smaller waist, the larger delts and arms, kind of that classic superhero look that you can't go wrong with. Unless you forget the other body parts completely and you end up with chicken legs. Then you're doing it wrong, but uh, don't go there. The last tricep exercise, and it's gonna be a compound movement-ish, which is gonna be the cross bench tricep dips. Good thing about this, the angle of the arms is going to help isolate the triceps. So the chest might be involved a little bit along with the shoulders, but primarily it's gonna be the triceps. 
and we're gonna use a bit of a weight here. 45 pounds is just placed right in the lap. You're gonna elevate your feet and get into this position. You're gonna bring yourself down just like so, and then you're gonna extend up and squeeze. So the shoulder joint as well as the elbow joint is involved in the motion, although the primary movement is really focusing on the extension and flexion of the elbow joint, but you'll feel a little bit in the chest, in the shoulders, but you really wanna get that full squeeze at the top position to really hit those triceps. Now you don't have to come down super far to get a full stretch unless you're really mobile and flexible. So you can come down just about here. So the upper and lower arms about a 90 degree angle, extend from there and get a good squeeze. We are on to the final exercise of this workout, and it's gonna be a classic, the barbell bicep curls. Pretty easy exercise, which unfortunately you see a lot of people do wrong. And a big reason why is they're just gonna to do too much weight, they ego lift. So go ahead, pick a weight that feels right for you. We've been working out for quite some time now. During this workout, just about an hour, so our biceps are pretty sore. We're going with just 25s on each side. We're doing three sets of 10 reps, which feels pretty nice. What you wanna to try to do is keep those elbows locked into place for the duration of this exercise, so you're really just focusing on that sweet, sweet bicep pump. There we go, that ends the Shazam shoulders, triceps, and biceps workout. You probably wanna perform this at least once a week. Try to stay consistent. You know, it really takes the dedication, the drive, the consistency, the hard work, and uh, the proper nutrition. You know, there's no shortcuts when it comes to these type of workouts. You know, it's gonna, it's gonna take years to try to build a body like a superhero, you know? It's just, there's just no, 